Hi, I'm Mitch Feldman. I'm on the D-Explain team at the Mass General Hospital Lab of Computer Science, and I'm also a pediatrician. I'm going to do a quick overview illustrating the power of the D-Explain tool. The D-Explain Diagnostic Decision Support System has information about over 2,500 diseases, over 5,600 clinical findings, and quantitative information that defines the relationships between the findings and the diseases. D-Explain's most commonly used feature is case analysis, where the user can enter a set of clinical findings here, and as we will see momentarily, the system can present a list of diagnostic considerations here based on the findings entered. To demonstrate the D-Explain tool, I will enter the findings from a patient that I saw who wound up having an unusual diagnosis in the primary care setting. When faced with a patient presentation that is puzzling, D-Explain can be very helpful in suggesting diagnoses for the clinician to consider. In this example, the patient was a 17-year-old adolescent male who had symptoms ongoing for many weeks. He complained of a dry cough, was wheezing, and also was just getting over pneumonia. The patient has also had diabetes for many years. In this area over here, D-Explain offers some questions to help refine diagnoses. He does have some prolonged exhalation on exam, so we can click yes there but does not endorse any exposure to tuberculosis, so we'll click no here, as D-Explain allows the entry of both positive and negative findings. The system can offer an explanation as to why it is asking particular questions, so if we click the finding here, we see that the program is asking about TB exposure because this would add support to the diagnosis of pulmonary TB. We submit these findings, and they're added to the case finding list over here. The patient's eczema has been flaring up lately, so we can add this finding. Note that the program is aware of many synonyms, and so it replaces eczema with atopic dermatitis. Finally, some lab work was done recently that included a blood count which showed a marked increase in eosinophils, so we'll add this as well. While asthma alone and other allergic diseases can raise the eosinophil count, this patient's counts were significantly higher than generally seen with asthma alone. When reviewing the differential diagnosis displayed by the D-Explain system, one can see allergic pulmonary aspergillosis fairly high on the list. This patient was referred to his pulmonologist who confirmed this diagnosis, and appropriate treatment was initiated. One can also click on the disease to see which of the findings already entered support the diagnosis, and which additional findings, if entered, would add further support. The disease differential feature displays alternative diseases to consider if one were already thinking about allergic bronchopulmonary aspergillosis. Case management features, such as saving, retrieving, and printing, are located here. Detailed functionality of all features can be found in the Resource Center by clicking Using DeExplain, where one can see extensive help. Finally, the ability to send feedback and comments to the D-Explain developers may be accessed here by the Contact Us feedback link. There are many other features as well, which allow D-Explain to provide helpful diagnostic decision support to medical students, house staff, and practicing clinicians. Thank you for watching.